What do snowmen like to do on the weekend? Chill. Who is Santa's favourite singer? Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. Ah, always, every time. What do elves post on social media? Elvies. Elf elfies? Elfies! I'm not doing any more of these. Hello, I'm Sean Moncrief, and this is News Talk's Christmas Crackers. The Christmas tradition in our house is actually a Christmas Eve tradition. All the women in the house, they all expect to be given a present of pyjamas that they then unwrap and put on the pyjamas and then we all have takeaway. The other expectation is that all the pyjamas have to be bought and wrapped by the male in the house, which is me. Okay, why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. We all get up, we meet on the landing put on our like dressing gowns and our slippers over our jammies and we all go downstairs and we open the living room door to see if Santa has arrived. And so far, so good. He has come each year. Even though my children are older, my youngest is 12, I absolutely love seeing them open the presents and the surprises and they don't know what's happening. What do reindeer hang on Christmas trees? Hornaments. Hornament sounds a bit dirty, doesn't it? That sounds like something totally different. I think my favorite Christmas tradition is just food. We eat an insane amount of food. So this is the last video that I'm doing for about three months because I will look totally different come the start of January and I'm totally okay with that. Hey! What do you get if you cross a vampire with a snowman? Frostbite. My favorite childhood Christmas present was I got a McDonald's restaurant. <laughs> Like a little, like a little kitchen thing, you know, like a kid's kitchen toy, but it was like a McDonald's. It was absolutely brilliant. I'm sure all the health experts would probably give out about it now. It's probably not a good thing to be giving kids. I absolutely loved it. I pulled a cracker. Why does Santa go down the chimney on Christmas Eve? Because it suits him. Oh my gosh, that is bad. I remember coming down Christmas morning and there was a box of Sabutio. It was basically a table football game that you, you flicked the, uh, the players along and there was a ball and you, it was it was brilliant. I look back on it now, like it's so dated, it's such an old fashioned game compared to what's around, but oh, we had we had hours and hours of fun. What do you call a snowman that goes on holidays to the tropics? A puddle. He dies. Nothing makes me happier than going down to my mum and dad's on Christmas Eve, closing the front door, putting the Christmas jammies on, sitting down with a cheese board, and watching some movies. It just makes me so happy. And that to me is when Christmas officially starts. Hey! Why did Santa go to music college? So he could improve his rapping skills. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Christmas present that I always remember above any others is a Lego set, the Blacktron Spy Base. There's all this kind of neon green. There were spaceships, there was aliens, there was bad guys. Anyway, I loved Lego. I still love Lego. One of my great pleasures now is buying Lego for my kids so that I can build it. And can I wish everybody out there, all of the News Talk listeners, a very safe, peaceful, happy Christmas. Thanks so much for listening, for watching. And I hope 2022 brings a lot of wonderful things for you and your family. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? <laughs> I'm 80.